Hello viewers and thank you for joining us. Today is the first day of this powerful program, PhD training. And as you can see, a lot of persons here have learned a lot from God's servant, Dr. Jeremiah Motufin. He has revealed the deep secret and they have learned a lot that will help them in life, in their ministry, their job, and whatever thing they do in life. So if you was, let us hear from a few of them, share their experience and what they have learned in today's service. Hello, Ma. You're welcome. Tell us your name. I'm Evangelist Chexi from Just Plateau State. What can you say about today's program and the teaching from the man of God? Ah, it's so marvelous. What the man of God has opened up the secret of revelation to us is only from him. It's very rare to hear this kind of mystery. Honestly, we were lifted. Our eyes of understanding has been opened. People are contacted with a kind of encounter that is beyond to explain. I myself, you see how I was on the ground. Yes, I was there, but the power of God carried me to the ground. I was really touched. So what are you going home with tonight? Yes, I'm going home full of the anointing and the revelation because the power already I have contacted, the PhD. <laughs> All right, so viewers, you can hear that wonderful experience from our mama and so many other persons here have received a lot from God's servants, not Prophet Jeremiah Motufengi. Sir, you're welcome. Tell us anyone where you're from. Yeah, my name is uh, Pastor Christopher Ibezim. I come from Gabon. Sir, what can you say about today's teaching? Today's teaching is very, very deep. It's deep revelations. There are things we have been seeing in the scripture. We see it with ordinary eyes. I mean, we see it from religious aspects. It's the today that we are, we are understanding the deep revelations of the word of God. Even the things that Jesus Christ himself did that we are speaking against. The Bible said that what the right hand does, lay not the left hand see. But the Bible has led us to understand that we witness it, that the public witness it. So what I'm seeing in the, in, in, in the life of Prophet Jeremiah it is a life, every day he is different. Every day, as day break, breaks, every of his teaching is always different. It's always deep. It's always profound. We cannot really define who this man of God is. I mean, it's a very big blessing to this generation. Okay, so, so what are you going home with? And in this, in the, in this first day of this uh, PhD training, what, what are you going home with? Yeah, today, I am going home today with a conviction because I am a pastor, I have not understood that there are hours to heal. Because for to us, we declare healing every time and we don't see results. Now we have seen from the, our master Jesus Christ, whom we are following, whom we are emulating, that there are hours they bring heal people for him to heal. And he healed them at every hour and obtained results. So that is what I am going home with. And as a, as a minister of God, there is this conviction I have had today from the life uh, of a prophet uh, Jeremiah and he had assured us that the grace which he has just like he quoted the scripture from Timothy 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 14 that uh, laying, laying of hand what he carries I mean Jeremiah is really is really replicating himself in, in people which many men of God does not do in our own time it's a very big blessing to this generation. All right, so are you looking forward to the second day of the program tomorrow? I am, I wouldn't even, I am looking forward for tomorrow. Let even tonight, I don't know if I'm going to sleep. I will get, I'll make preparation for me to be able to be here tomorrow and go deeper, I will receive deeper and I must be blessed as long as this very program, I mean, this program is organized because of me. Thank you very much, sir, God bless you. Sir, you're very much welcome. Tell us the name and where you're from. Thank you. I am Prophet Yacent from Gabon. Sir, so what is your experience from today's PhD training? Uh, Aujourd'hui, l'enseignement a été très profond. Le prophète a révélé les choses dont nous ne tenions pas au courant en tant que ministre de Dieu. Et d'après ces enseignements, elles ont été tellement profondes que nous sommes émus, nous sommes en joie d'apprendre cela de notre serviteur. Nous sommes très contents de ce que le serviteur de Dieu nous a enseigné aujourd'hui. Ce, ce sont des choses que nous ne connaissions pas dans le ministère. Et ces enseignements vont nous aider à opérer à la même dimension que notre père spirituel. C'est ce que je peux dire pour l'instant. 
Pastor. Are you looking forward to tomorrow's program? Oh, mes attentes sont très nombreuses pour demain. Notre père a déjà annoncé ce qu'il va enseigner pour demain. Il a dit qu'il va nous enseigner comment opérer dans la prière, comment commander le jour. Ce sont des choses que nous ne connaissons pas et nous serons très contents d'apprendre cela de notre père spirituel. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Um, I'm Pastor Steven. I reside in Ghana, but I'm from Nigeria. Okay, what can you say about the teachings of the man of God in today's uh, first day of the PhD training? The teaching was very, very powerful. Everybody here enjoyed the secret that was revealed. In fact, in fact, I, I, I just observed that there are something more deeper that we ought to know that we do not know. Just like what he quoted in the scripture, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So he gave us enough knowledge that would take us away from ignorance. And as, as long as only ignorance can destroy you, then when you receive this kind of teaching, you are out of destruction entirely. So the teaching was powerful, very powerful. And I really recommend that in case you are anywhere you are, you are not here, next year you have to be here. Make it a, a, a point of duty to be here by next year. Okay, so are you looking forward to tomorrow's program? Yes, um, yeah, tomorrow there will still be another program. And I just feel like it shouldn't end today. It should continue to tomorrow. But then our papa have to rest because he has been doing a lot of work. But tomorrow, that's going to be a powerful program again. And I, I'm just going to be the first to be here. And I know that a lot of people want to be the first, but I'm going to be the first. Thank you very much. Thank you. Maya, you're welcome. Tell us, Adima, where are you from? My name is Lydia. I'm from Ghana. What have you learned from God in today's program? Today's program was superb. I learned a lot. And I'm most grateful I was able to make it to here, Mercy City, in the name of Jesus. Yes, we learned a lot, humility, sacrifice, and we shouldn't be angry. When we are provoked, we shouldn't be angry. I am most grateful. Those of us who are not being able to come, my people from Ghana, I pray that next year they will be able to come to also experience the greatness that is happening here. We were watching it on telly, but today I am seeing it live, live, live. So how can you describe today's, your today's experience? My today's experience was great, was great. I really learned a lot, so many things. Today's program, Papa, God richly bless him. Okay, so are you looking forward to tomorrow's program? Yes, I'm looking forward to tomorrow's program. I can't wait for tomorrow at 4 p.m. to be here again, to experience more greater things in the name of Jesus. Mama, we know you, what's your name and where are you from? My name is Mrs. Emeka. I've come from Gabon. Okay, what is your experience like in today's PhD training? My experience for today's training was very miracle and mystery. It shows that there are men of God that discover deeply things in the Bible. We have, I personally, I came far away from Gabon, but I can't regret my journey because I have received more what will permit me to move forward in my ministry. The man of God, Prophet Jeremiah, he knows something. God loves him and God is with him. And he has said he will impact it in us what he know and what he has received. He's gave us joy to be a partaker of this meeting for today. So ma, what are you going home with tonight? Uh, I'm going home tonight with a lot of joy because he say tomorrow he will teach us the real PhD. That means prophecy, healing, and deliverance. Can you imagine for me to start say, can I pro? Can I pro? <laughs> like man of God, like prophet Jeremiah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you very much, ma. God bless you. So you're very much welcome. Tell us the name and where you're from. I'm from Cameroon. My name is Chi Emmanuel from Cameroon. 
So how do you, how can you describe your experience from the first day of this PhD training? I've, I'm, I'm really feel, I feel happy. This is really a father. It's more than a father. The senior prophet Jeremiah Motofu is more than a father to everybody. I love the father. He has really made the whole world to know that every son, every daughter belongs to him. And I'm very happy from the first day I entered. This is my first time that I come to Nigeria. I've never come to Nigeria, but I'm very happy for all what I've come and learned from the father. He has taught me a lot. I, by this time, I will never fail in my ministry again because he has really expanded me a lot. I'm very happy. Okay, sir. So what are you going home with tonight? No, I'm going home with so many revelations that Father has made me to understand revelation in the Bible. I don't, at times I look, the, pro, the senior prophet Jeremiah Motofoy, not like a human being, but I don't know how God has feel him. But we, we thank God for the grace of God upon his life. May God increase it forever and ever. Amen. So are you looking forward to tomorrow's program? Yes. Uh, I'm coming back. To carry Lord before I reach Cameroon, uh, many many eras will bow before the gods of Prophet Jeremiah Omoto for four years. All right, thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Tell us your name and where you come from. Yeah, my name is Pastor Rufus Ojeli. So, tell us about your experience in the first day of the PhD training. What have you learned from God's servant, you know, Prophet Jeremiah Omoto fame? It's, it's too much, I can't explain it. It's just like someone asking you to explain or describe the taste of an apple. You cannot explain it, you cannot describe it. It's so powerful. Prophet Jeremiah Moto for is a God gift. It's a gift to mankind. I learned a lot not to be stingy with the grace because what he taught us today is not everybody can, that can do this. He's teaching us from the bottom of his heart, from the spirit. We enjoyed it and we are coming back again. Okay, so what are you going home with tonight? What is that particular thing that you didn't know before, but you learned it today? I am going home loaded. One of the things he revealed here is the water. Water is what we, we see, we use all the time, we commonize it, but we don't know the spiritual importance and power of water. But today, by the grace of God, the prophet, Prophet Jeremiah Motofofi has explained and teach us how to use water. So now I am ready, by the grace of God, how to use water and apply it to the glory of God Almighty. So are you ready to learn more from God's servant tomorrow? Re ready to learn more, by the grace of God. We uh, can't have enough. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very thank much. You. My name is Bishop Emmanuel Mbadi. I'm from South Africa. I'm the senior prophet of Royal Race Church. You're very much welcome, sir. You came all the way from South Africa to attend this PhD training. So what can you say about today's teaching? Today's teaching, our father, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufiying, he revealed a lot. You know, here the Bible, the Word of God is practical. He revealed a lot of how to operate with humility, sacrifice, and how to love the house of God. You know, he taught us that before we build our house, we have to build the house of God. We need to sacrifice. Those are the mysteries of the kingdom of God, which is making him to move with a higher grace. You know, I, I love the love he demonstrates. He's not stingy with anointing. He's willing to impart in all of us the mystery of the kingdom of God. He's the great revealer of the sacred things of the kingdom of God. Yes. Okay, who is the person standing beside you? Uh, this is my friend we met here. We are all together from South Africa. Okay, sir, so share with us your experience from today's service. Uh, my, my, my name is Apostle T. Gwanzura from, from Port Elizabeth, Eastern Cape, South Africa. Uh, to me, when I came here, I was having so many questions that I couldn't get anyone to, to answer me, even my biological father. But Prophet Jeremiah Omoto is such a man from above. He reviewed anything. There are some, some, some of the things that we were just taking it for granted in the ministry that was causing the ministry to, to, to go down. But as from today, I will never miss any program that will be happening, no matter come rain, come thunder. 
I will try to attend each and every program here. I'm so blessed with this program and I'm looking forward to stay here until if it was to shift my ministry from South Africa to bring it here in Nigeria, I was going to do that. Thank you very much, sir. So are you looking forward to tomorrow's program? I'm looking forward for tomorrow's program. You know, he will be teaching us about the D, how to operate the H and the P. You know, every time when, you know, I used to think I know the Bible, I used to call myself, I'm a great teacher of the Word of God. But what is happening here, the revelation, the teaching, he exposed us to the deep things of the kingdom of God. How to, you know, how to function, how not to fail, how to succeed in the ministry, how to go forward. This is what we need as men and women of God, to know why are we not growing? Why are we going up and down? Why don't we manifest such a great grace, you know, why our anointing is not reaching to many people. I'm looking forward for tomorrow program. I know, you know, I used to see the man of God in the dreams. He said, come, I will touch you. Your life will change. And I'm here and I know it's going to happen. My life will never be the same again. Amen. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Okay, so tell us your name, where you're from. I'm Prophet Jesper from Cameroon. This is my first time to come for the automation. The second, the first one, I could not make it. But this one, I am here just today teaching. And I have discovered that my father is the man of the hour. And I'm here believing God that after this ordination, my past is over. The ministry that I've been going down, going down, going down, people mocking at me. I know that by the grace of my father and with the assurance of the message today, and I'm reassured that after this ordination, I'm going back to open to my father, to prophesy like him, to heal like him, and to show love, and to bless this privilege, and to bless especially the house of God, as we are taught today. So I'm so happy for today. I bless God for that. Praise God. Amen. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Tell us your name and where you're from, and introduce the person standing beside you. Yes, uh, my name is uh, Prophet Moses Kalunga, a simple man from Zambia. And beside me, she's my lovely sister, Prophetess Mary Naville. We are from the same town, Chilabombwe. Okay, you're very much welcome. And you came all the way from Zambia to attend this PhD training program. And today is the first day, and I know you've learned a lot from the man of God today in his teachings. So what can you say about today's teachings? Yes, today's teaching is so powerful. You know, uh, the grace that Papa carry is out of compliance. It's beyond the reception. You know, I fail to understand Papa. Papa is so prophetic, is so deep. I've been attending some seminars here and there, but when I discovered Papa, and when I'm learning under him, I discover that the Holy Spirit is so much on him. And whatever that comes out of his mouth is so amazing. Like for me today, I have learned more especially on Acts chapter 10 verse 38, where he said, how oh God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power, who went out to do good to so many people. Me, I only thought it was only healing, healing people, that's all. I never knew that even we as men of God, we are supposed to sacrifice in a special way. I never knew that. I also learned that as a man of God, you, there's a time that you need to perform a miracle. Some of us have been just calling people, come, I know God of Jeremiah here and there, be you just like that. And sometimes you see the answer, sometimes you will not see the manifestation, just like that. But today I have learned something. And I believe that after ordination, the land of Zambia will never be the same again. And I know after I carry this grace, I'm going to operate like my father. And all my other sons and daughters who are in Zambia, they will come also and tap from me. Because I know, as I'm tapping from my father, those who don't have the opportunity to come here, they will come and tap. I know that the land of Zambia will never be the same again. Because this is the place, it's like a ocean, where the grace flows. Papa is so amazing. I'm happy to have 
this great man of God as my spiritual father. I'm proud to be a son of Prophet Jeremiah Omotu for faith. And it's so amazing. And I'm here. I believe my sister also, you are also blessed. People of Zambia, why, what are you waiting for? Huh? My sons, my brothers and sisters, bishop, you must come here and tap the grace. Huh? Come here and tap the grace. In eh? Chilabombo, you must come there and tap the grace also. We know that we as Zambians, we are thirsty for, for power. We are thirsty for grace. Those of you who want to go higher, please come. Don't waste time. Come and tap the grace here. You will never be disappointed. My life has never been the same since I encountered Papa. But I believe after ordination, I'm going to prophesy. I'm going to heal. I'm going to deliver just like my father. And tomorrow, Papa said, is going to teach us how to move in the prophetic. How to move in the de deliverance, move everything. I know I'm thirsty for that because I want to learn more and more. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace. Amen. So, Ma, what did you learn today? Today I've learned a lesson, especially when he said about the cross, when Jesus was on the cross, he said, give me water, but, he's, but they give him vinegar because they know that they give me water, you he he, he won't die. That is the special thing that I learned because I haven't known that. I haven't known the secret about that when he asked the, about the water on the cross. But I think, I, I, and I'm expecting more grace, more power after this ordination because he... Papa is moving in the supernatural. And every everyone who is following, everyone who is connected, whether you come here, whether you not come here, the, where, where, when we connected to this grace, will never be the same. The grace will increase because he moves in the supernatural. And God is the supernatural. That is the reason there is God in this place. I invite every one of you who haven't encountered to this grace, be connected and you remain, you won't remain the same. In Jesus name. Amen. Thank you very much. Voilà chers auditeurs, nous sommes juste euh, au terme de ce premier spécial programme euh, qui vous a consacré et nous remercions le Seigneur pour euh, de nombreux enseignements qui ont été révélés par l'homme de Dieu, prophète Jérémie Omotofofé. Nous pensons que vous également qui nous regardez à la maison, a été, vous avez été énormément édifié, énormément béni. Alors nous avons quelques personnes ici euh, venant de la communauté francophone. Nous allons juste écouter de deux personnes et qui vont nous dire le nom d'où ils viennent et euh, qu'est-ce qu'ils ont appris de l'infatigable général, prophète Jérémie alors, soyez bénis, comme nous écoutons, monsieur, bienvenue. Bienvenue. Euh, quel est votre nom et d'où venez Oui, je suis le prophète Grâce, je suis un centrafricain, mais je suis basé au Guinée équatoriale. Ok, déjà, euh, euh, qu'est-ce que vous pouvez dire euh, par rapport euh, à ce que vous avez appris euh, du prophète Jérémie Omotofofin qui a fait appel à ses fils et fils spirituels Aujourd'hui, c'est juste le premier, le premier jour de ce spécial programme qui vous a consacré. Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez dire par rapport à cela oui, avant de parler, je vais donner un petit témoignage. C'est ma seconde fois de venir ici. La première fois que j'étais venu ici, le prophète m'a imposé la main. Une fois, le prophète Jeremiah Omotofoufoui m'a imposé la main. Une fois, mon ministère a changé. Les portes sont ouvertes. J'ai gagné des voitures. Les choses que je ne vivais pas avant, j'ai vécu ça après l'imposition des mains. Donc, ce que j'ai dit, j'invite beaucoup de serviteurs de Dieu de venir. C'est un homme de Dieu. C'est un prophète. Le prophète Jeremiah Omotofoufoui, c'est un prophète que Dieu a suscité pour notre génération actuelle. Venez nombreux pour recevoir l'impactation. Là, je suis béni. C'est le moment, le premier jour, je me sens déjà que je suis dans un moment de jeûne de 40 jours. Alors l'homme de Dieu, lors de son enseignement, a révélé un certain nombre de choses, particulièrement pour les ministères, les hommes de Dieu, le, le moment approprié de pouvoir prier soit pour les malades, la différence entre l'enseignement et la prédication, particulièrement les heures indiquées et l'importance ou le mystère caché derrière l'eau. Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez dire par rapport à cela, vous, en tant que ministre de Dieu Ça m'a beaucoup impacté, ça m'a beaucoup impacté. Là, je parle même avec l'eau. Je suis en train de parler avec l'eau d'Omar, mais pourquoi Parce qu'il a parlé sur l'eau, quelque chose que je n'ai jamais écouté depuis ma naissance, depuis que j'ai commencé à servir Dieu. Il a dit, l'eau est une puissance. D'abord, l'eau, c'est la vie. Nous voyons euh, le baptême, 
on ne prend pas quelque chose pour être baptisé, mais on utilise l'eau pour être baptisé. L'eau est une puissance, l'eau représente Jésus, ça représente l'onction du Saint-Esprit physique pour venir nous délivrer, pour venir nous libérer. Voilà pourquoi la Bible dit, pendant la création, l'Esprit de Dieu se mouvait au-dessus des eaux. Quand on parle de l'eau, on parle de l'onction du Saint-Esprit qui peut guérir. Ça m'a beaucoup impacté. Je suis trop béni ce soir. Et nous pensons également que c'est une autre nouvelle étape par rapport à votre ministère. Et euh, nous vous souhaitons plus de grâce, et plus de courage. Et nous voulons juste que vous donniez un petit mot pour ceux qui vous regardent, qui ne savent pas euh, euh, ce que c'est que la consécration, qui ne savent pas le mystère caché derrière, avoir un père spirituel. Parce que d'autres disent qu'ils peuvent émerger de tout seul, euh, qu'ils peuvent faire d'eux-mêmes. Aujourd'hui, pourquoi désirez-vous vous soumettre à un père spirituel et venir apprendre à ses pieds Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez dire au testateur Ce que je peux vous dire, c'est lui qui n'a pas de père n'a pas de repère. Donc, euh, pour être grand, il faut toujours monter sur les épaules d'un géant. Il y a un proverbe qui dit « le fer aiguise le fer ». Donc quand tu te joins à un géant mondial, là où Dieu l'a amené, tu finiras de venir. La consécration, c'est de t'amener dans une, dans une sphère, dans une dimension que toi tu ne connais pas. Je vous ai dit que seulement le premier jour, je me sens que je suis sorti dans un moment de jeûne de 40 jours. Venez, venez nombrer suivant le prophète Jérémia Omoto Foufou. Et Dieu l'a établi pour la génération actuelle parce que le temps est arrivé. Merci beaucoup. Merci aussi. Euh, nous allons juste écouter quelques mots de la personne tout près de vous. Euh, messieurs, vous êtes la bienvenue. Oui, bien. merci beaucoup. Je m'appelle euh, Yuji. Je suis Nigerian, mais je vis en Équatorie. C'est mon prophète. Vous êtes ici pour la première fois, c'est correct Non, c'est ma seconde fois. Vous êtes ici pour la deuxième fois. Et qu'est-ce que vous avez appris de ce programme aujourd'hui you learn from this program today? I've learned a lot. I'm really flabbergasted about what happened here today. And what can you say to people out there who don't have any idea about this program? The people that are not here, I mean, they are blind. They have to open their eyes. I'm come near to God. I'm come near to the prophet, Jeremiah Motofin, the general of the general, that can make the iron, one iron to sharpen iron. It's a higher grace. Okay, we thank Almighty Sir for what he has done and uh, we believe that you're going to learn more and God bless you and uh, keep on learning at the feet of Jesus Christ who is your spiritual father, Prophet Yemar Motofofei and uh, more grace will be revealed into your life in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Prophet Diab Joseph from Ghana. What can you say about today's teaching from the man of God? Wow, today's teaching has really been so wonderful, so revelational teaching that uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank our Father Prophet Jeremiah Omotofofi for such a love for the world. He is a man that is having, let me say, oversight grace. And it's not easy for someone like this to give us such a love to the world. What we have thought that today is very, is very uh, wonderful and It is something that is going to save a lot of souls in the world. And I want to thank him for such a love for the world. And the God will continue to empower him. Uh, it has opened our eyes to know that, look, if as a minister of God, if you don't have such a grace in your life or in your ministry, your ministry will always go down. You don't know what to go. And this has given many ministries to close down. Many ministers have stopped the work of God because we were blind. But thank God, God has sent us a prophet for the nation, Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fofui. My name is Angel David from Sierra Leone. Okay, so what have you learned from God in today's teaching? I've learned the revelation. Papa is not just the revelation, but is the key of the revelation, how to move ahead and how to fight challenge in ministry. Prophet Jeremiah Omoto is more than a prophet. He operates like a spirit being. So I've learned how to operate like a spirit. So I can't wait for the move to get back to Sierra Leone to move, to copy the same thing that happened here in my nation. What can you say to those who are not aware of this program and who are not here? What can you say to them? I say to them, should try and come to Massey 
land in worry because there is God here. I have witnessed healing, prophecy. All what we are watching the TV is happening in life and I'm a living witness of it. So are you looking forward to tomorrow's program? Yes, I'm excited. I can't wait for tomorrow to be here to receive more and deeper revelation. Okay, thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Thank you, viewers, for joining us in the first day of this PhD training. And we believe you've learned a lot from God's servant, Sina Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fane. Remember that the program continues tomorrow, so do well to come and attend the program, for there is a lot to learn from God in this program. God bless you. Trend, two hundred. Who will tell me?